Hey guys, Jess here, this time with another tutorial. It's actually in addition to one of my earlier tutorials on how to record your LOL replay games with Fraps, but this time we can do it for free in Full HD. Um, we're going to use Open Broadcaster software, which is basically normally a free version of XSplit with more features, and it also has a really good 8.264 codec and encoder built in which we can use to stream, but this time we're going to use it to save your LOL replay games into one file, smaller file sizes than Fraps, almost one tenth of an original Fraps size and still remain really good quality. Also this doesn't uh, clog up your hard drive as much as Fraps does. Fraps needs like 110 megabytes a second to record full HD and Open Broadcaster uses like almost 15 to 20 megabytes per second. This is great if you only have one hard drive in your computer like I do, but it's preferred to have like an SSD and a hard drive in the computer because that's what makes it a beast computer. Um, what you gotta do first is download Open Broadcast software from their site. It's called obsproject.com. You can just google for open broadcaster and it shows up right here. And you get the site and then you can see what they say on the site. It's a really free, uh, really powerful free piece of kit and you can download the installer by clicking this green button and go ahead and it's like a couple of MBs. It's like yeah, here, it's 5 MBs. After you've installed it, you, you can open it up and then you get a little window like this. But you don't get these scenes and sources like I do. I will go into that in a bit. But first we gotta make sure the settings are okay. So hop on and go to settings. And then you'll open up in general. Here's your language. Keep it on, keep it on English because yeah, that's really easy to follow my commands. And settings profile. Um, Yours will most probably start with untitled, but you can just press backspace and create a new name. I'll create lol replay here and press add and then go to encoding. On encoding you can see quality balance. Try to keep that over 8 from 8 to 10. I choose 10 just because I can handle it. 9 or 10 is basically the best balance between bitrate and video quality. 8 is also fine but 10 is just the best if you can handle it. Anyhow, let's start with the maximum bitrate. This is the amount of bits that gets uh, used for creating a, a, a frame every 30 seconds or 60 just matters on what you define. We gotta set that to 15,000. Oh, made a typo there. And also the buff size. You can keep them the same. If you really want to use the buff size well, it's mostly used for streaming, but for files, uh, file recording it doesn't really matter. But if you want to use it the way it's supposed to be, you need to double your buffer size from what your max bitrate is. But that doesn't really matter right now, just keep them on 15,000 and 15,000. Audio codec AAC, because MP3 is compressed. And bitrate 192. This is very important in post processing if you're going to render your videos and you use FreeFenty. Make sure you record in FreeFenty. But if you use 192, it's also fine. So go ahead and set it to what you need when you are rendering or editing in Sony Vegas so your audio doesn't get messed up while syncing with the video. Click apply and then we can see the broadcast settings. Right now um, it's set on live stream but you gotta choose file output because we're not gonna live stream. And then for the file path set it to somewhere you like. I'm going to send it, set it to my desktop just so it's easy to open it up after streaming. And call it recording. And then save apply and here you can set your hotkeys I just keep them on these then this is really important uh, 
this is what sets the resolution on what type of yeah uh, video resolution you are going to record. Mine here says the base resolution of my monitor. I have a 1920 by 1200 monitor, which is 16 by 10, which is not what most of you guys have. Probably you'll have 90, 1920 by 1080, which is full HD. If you want to record in full HD, make sure you use this. If you want to record in 720p, you can search up what 20, uh, 720p is, but it's 1820 by 720. But I'll go ahead and use 1080p, because we want the best quality. And don't use resolution downscale. This is basically again for streaming. If you don't have a good bitrate, you can downscale it to 720p by one click. FPS, 30. Yeah, you can also set it to 60 if you have a really beast PC. I'll just keep it at 30. And you can mess with disable error at startup, uh, which is yeah, most probably your bars and st stuff. Then your uh, theme gets disabled for when you're using open broadcast settings. If you have a less powerful graphics card and PC, you can use this to improve performance a bit. I'll disable it because I haven't found it to increase my performance. Next, click apply. Audio. Well, here you can set the audio devices. This is your sound card, so, well, I've got a crap load here, but uh, the sound card I use the most is my uh, one of my sound cards, which is for the game audio, and I've got a separate one for my Skype slash TeamSpeak slash Ventrilo and stuff. Um, just set it to your headset, or, yeah, most probably you only have one, default is then the best. Because it chooses the one that is using uh, that you're using at the moment. Uh, for your microphone, you can disable it because you don't want to use your microphone when you're recording. You can most probably better do it in Audacity or something like that, or uh, Adobe Audition like I'm doing now. You just want to use another program to record your microphone in because the quality in here isn't as good as using Audacity or something like that. And then the rest you can uh, don't bother with. Click apply and then advanced. Also this is quite important. Uh, if you have a quad core CPU or a dual core but most probably you want to have a quad core CPU Use multi-threaded optimizations, tick this box here, and set priority class between normal and above normal. High doesn't improve anything at all, just choose one of these. Then, um, this is the encoder, the X264 encoder. This is also very important. Here you can see it says ultra fast. Well, if you don't know what is it, what this is, I'll explain it briefly now. Uh, slow means that it takes a long time uh, to process a video image because it what your CPU does is it processes the image 30 times a second slow is the best quality at the lowest bitrate you don't want to take this because then you have a PC that you've stolen from NASA or something an overclocked i7 to like 4.5 gigahertz will do the best on faster or very fast faster is like the highest limit it can do so how slower you get how much more powerful PC you have faster and fast are mostly for the best Intel processors which cost two grand a piece with the six core things and the Xeons if you have an i5, very fast and super fast are okay, and if you have just a normal quad core or an AMD quad core, very fast and super fast, you gotta fiddle around with that. If you got a dual core, I would go with ultra fast. So I'm going with very fast now. I can also go with faster because I've here it, it already gives a warning. Uh, it says that is it will have negative effects on your stream quality and CPU usage if you don't can handle the power but I know I can so I'll set it to faster 
and then custom you gotta remove this stuff if you have it I don't know if it comes with it or I uh, fiddled around with it anyhow we gotta type in CRF which is custom rate factor if I recall correctly and set it to 18 this is also a quality balance like we've used for uh, like you've, we've used earlier in encoding and what this does is it ensures you get almost raw quality at a very small file size just go ahead and copy paste this for me don't have to think about it just do it and then the rest you can just not bother with it you can try to force audio to sync with video if it gets out of sync this is basically the most of the important settings click apply and click ok um, please, please ignore these scenes I have because you don't have these and go ahead and right click in the scenes box and add a scene call it lol replay or anything like that and press ok and now you gotta add a video source this is what captures your video I've gone ahead and opened up our replay here and I'll get my open broadcaster back and I've put it to windowed which is very important if you put this to full screen and it's exclusive full screen it most probably won't capture your video so put it to borderless or windowed otherwise this software can't grab it like fraps can that's one of the advantages of fraps basically next to that it doesn't come with much advantage over this anyhow go ahead and add a software capture or a game capture this is very dependent on yeah how picky your PC is if I use game capture it starts to lag with League of Legends with other games it does it perfectly fine but with League of Legends it doesn't like it so I'll add a software capture okay go ahead to window capture capture mouse layer make sure that's ticked and in the window and here you see League of Legends TM client go ahead and click OK and if we then preview stream and your League of Legends resolution is alright which is 9020 by 1080 which is the same you are recording in that's also very important then it will fill up if this doesn't fill up you can try to change your resolution if you don't want to do that what you can do is go and right click on software capture and then fit to screen or press ctrl f so now we've got this and we are going to stop the preview and we can start recording now make sure this bar which is your audio bar your game sound is between these settings not not disabled this is disabled this is like maximum and this is about 59 percent 90 percent otherwise you can have distorted sound which you don't want to have so if we want to start recording now we can go ahead and start streaming and now you can see the fps here and the time which uh, it has elapsed and the dropped frames and this color resembles your bitrate but if you stream locally it doesn't use that and now we can start to replay and if I alt top here you can see this video in the open broadcaster overlaps with my leak play on the video Basically, you won't see the open broadcaster if you are recording your lol replay. Uh, your, yeah, your lol replay. But you can alt up between them if you use windowed or borderless. So, well, I've gone ahead and almost. Well, let's wait for a minute to pass and then we are going to stop. Right now. And then it says building MP3 and it's gone. So, let's go ahead and pause this stuff here. And then we can see the recording is almost instantaneously on our desktop. I don't know what's bothering right now.
My hard drive is really slow. There it is. And this is basically VLC. Which it doesn't really like MP4. Then it turns out all grayed out. If I swap back, you can see this is dark and black and deep colors and a good contrast, but VLC goes ahead and Purple team's turret has brings been a vague gray layer above it, but don't bother with that. If you render this in Super Vegas or in Pro or After Effects, you won't see that. That's just VLC. So if you max this out, which I can, because you won't see part of it, well, here it is. You can see a black bar here. That's because I don't have a full HD monitor. You can see that it's really great quality at a really low file size. It's 64 MBs. Yeah, well, 65 MBs. For full HD, one minute. Which is really small. Fraps would have used almost 2 gigabytes here. Not over exaggerating. And it also uh, fraps, uh, stops recording at 4 point something gigabytes and then makes a new file. This goes over until your hard drive is filled up into one file. Every time you start and stop recording it makes a file. That's how this works and it is easier in post while editing. Because you don't have to drag all the files and make sure they are in the cor correct order. Well that was about it. Um, I hope you have you have enjoyed this guide and I've helped you using LOL Replay better. And if you have any problems please contact me in the comments, I read all of them. And I can try to help you out.